Hey dolls! All right, so today I have a huge what I got for Christmas haul video for you guys. I have to put this little disclaimer in here. I am not bragging at all whatsoever. These are just items that my family has been so generous to gift to me for the holidays. I love watching videos like this to see what everyone else gets for Christmas, so I don't feel like these are at all by any means meant to brag whatsoever, but I did have to put that disclaimer in here just in case. I do one of these every single year on my channel, and if this is the first video that you are seeing of mine, hello, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoy this video. And with that being said, let's dig on into this. So usually I have everything categorized by what my sister got me, what my mom got me, what my fiance got me, etc. But honestly, you guys, everything is so hectic and chaotic this year that I'm just gonna show stuff that I got, and if I remember who it's from, then I could tell you who it's from. The first things I guess I'm going to show you guys are the food or candy items. I have a little bag of all of the goodies that everybody got me this year. I am currently dieting. I'm trying to eat cleaner and things like that. So that is why like 90% of all of the candy that you guys are about to see is labeled sugar-free uh, because my family was very kind and generous and took note that I was going through this lifestyle change and they respected that. And it really, I really was appreciative of that this year. My niece got me some cauliflower pretzels and some um, sugar-free gummy bears. My sister got me these sugar-free hard candies that are like chocolate flavors that I'm really excited to try. I believe this was in my stocking this year and this is no sugar added Swiss Miss hot chocolate mix. Then I have two of these Russell Stover's uh, sugar-free candies. This one is a peanut butter one that my niece got me, and this is a caramel one that also was in my stocking. Then I got some of these sugar-free Hershey's. I believe these were from my sister. And then the last little candies that I have in here, we actually did a white elephant gift exchange, and these items were in the white elephant that I got. So there are a couple little tiny candies that are just normal little chocolates, and and then just a single use packet of hot cocoa. In this bag was what I ended up with from the White Elephant Gift Exchange. It is, like I mentioned, that hot cocoa and the little candies, these little uh, ornament, these little ornaments, this little wooden thing that says Secret Santa that is really cute, and then also some Flamingo Pink Finger Painting Soap. <laughs> This was the first year that my, fam my family had ever done a white elephant gift exchange, and we decided to do a Dollar Tree themed one, so that is that. And then my family also did a sock gift exchange. It was kind of like a secret Santa. You drew a name, and then you got a pair of Christmas socks and filled them with little goodies for that person or just put it in a basket, like, all together. So my sister got my name, and she got me these little socks. And then there are other items throughout here that she got me with this that you guys will see later. It's all just kind of sporadic all over the place. I did not keep track of my presents this year like I normally do. It was super hectic. Um, but I am so grateful and thankful for everything that I've received. I just love it all. I also got a card from my sister. This was for me and my fiance. And then I got this from my mom. It is just a little hot pink power strip. My sister also got me this adorable unicorn little trinket dish or jewelry tray. Some of these moist wipes. A can colander. And I think this is so cool. I've never actually had one of these before, but this is a brilliant idea. So basically when you open a can and you have to drain the liquid out of it, for example, if you're going to be making tuna for like tuna sandwiches or something like that, you need to drain the liquid out so that you can use the contents in the can. Um, oftentimes I have recipes that I make where I have to drain pineapple. And basically this is just a little contraption that sits right over the can that has holes in it. And basically you can just drain the can without all of the contents pouring out of it when you are draining it, which is awesome. Usually I just use the can lid itself and just kind of press it in there and squeeze everything out. But 
this is going to be a lot better, I feel like. And it's very cute. It's like this pastel-y lilac shade. And then with that, she also got me these adorable measuring spoons. I got a lot of kitchen stuff this year, and I am so excited about it. I'll also go ahead and overlay a little footage clip right now, just because it's too big for me to pick up and show you guys on camera. My mom surprised me with a huge set of pink pans. I am so excited about these. They are beautiful. I've been wanting a set for myself for quite some time and I got them and I was so excited. I filmed like the vlog footage of me opening them. So if you guys haven't seen my last vlogmas video, um, it should be up soon if it's not already on my channel. So go check that out if you want to see my reaction to that. Um, my mom also got me this amazing set of pastel Cuisinart knives. Again, so excited about these. Probably gonna get demonetized for showing those on camera, but whatever. Oh, and this was in my stocking. I'm all over the place here, but I got some kind of rose gold or gold silverware. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting my own silverware also, and this is so beautiful. So thank you, Santa, for, uh, hooking me up in my stocking this year. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead. I still have stuff from my sister and mom and everything like that. I do have a few more like kitchen items. You guys will see those in a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and power through the clothing next. Uh, my mom got me this adorable long sleeve Minnie Mouse top. It is so cute. I believe all of the clothing pieces that she got for me are from Kohl's. Then I got two hoodies. Uh, the first one is this hot pink little number right here. It doesn't look very hot pink on camera, but it just looks like so. Just a basic pullover hoodie with the drawstrings and the front pocket. And then this one I have been obsessed with. This one's kind of croppy. Again, I believe all of these are from Kohl's, uh, but it just looks like this. It kind of reminds me of that tie-dye Lisa Frank hoodie that I got from Hot Topic a while back that I have worn obsessively. <laughs> I don't know if that's even a word, but I wear it all the time. And so this kind of reminded me of that, but it is really cute. Again, has a hood, no drawstrings on this one, and no front pocket on this one, but I have been living in this since I got it pretty much. And then she got me this Lion King shirt. Lion King is my favorite Disney movie. So there is this one. And then also this shirt right here. I, I cracked up so hard when I saw this. It says, I work so my dog can have a better life. <laughs> How accurate is that? And then two pair of shorts. There are these navy ones with rainbows all over them. Then there is this pair of just basic white ones. They're the same brand and everything. Again, probably from Kohl's but they are very cute and I'll definitely get use out of those in the summertime, but uh, not so much right now because it's like 20 degrees outside. <laughs> and then the last clothing item, my mom got these for me uh, at Ross. The tag is still on it. I was actually with her when she got these for me. I kind of picked them out. She's like, oh, pick out some socks. So I got these Puma ones and these are the compression style socks. I tell you what, if you guys ever try or experience compression socks, you're never going to want to go back to just regular, basic, plain old socks. These are just so, like, comfy and cozy and secure and they just they hug your feet and it just feels so nice so we got these ones from Ross. There are some pink pair and some blue pair in there. And yeah, mesh ventilation, sport cushion, arch support, just, oh, these are so, so, so good. I guess the next section we'll go with is more stuff from my sister. This, how cute is this little deer bag? It is adorable. In here we have just a blush washcloth. This uh, setting spray, I think this is coconut water hibiscus glow mist. 
and it just looks like this. It smells amazing. And then in here we have two sheet masks, a uh, blue algae hydrating sheet mask and turmeric soothing sheet mask. People got me a lot of like hair care and beauty care, like face skincare this year, which I'm so excited about. I've been getting into skincare lately over the past few months and I love it. I have like two zits and I am broken out really bad probably because I caved and ate a few goodies for the holidays. I went off my diet a little bit, so I am breaking out a little, but that's okay. And then also I got some more measuring spoons. These are some Betty Crocker ones. My sister got me those also. And I think she got me this mask. I'm not 100% sure. This is a blueberry muffin vegan hair mask overnight repair. This may have come from my sister or this may have come from one of my nieces. I can't remember exactly but it just looks like so. Uh, my sister also got me this set of three little dishware items. We have a cup, a bowl, and a plate, and they are all dishwasher safe. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love when things are dishwasher and microwave safe. It just makes them that much better. My mom got me this little magnet, and I think she got this from Michael's because she got one for herself as well. This says, life's better with a Shih Tzu. You guys know my dog, Rebel, he is a little Shih Tzu. So she had to get this magnet for me, which is really cute. Okay, next, also from my sister, I got meal prep containers, which is amazing because I've been wanting these. I just never put them on a list anywhere, but I think she knows that I've been wanting them because I have been eating clean and trying to meal prep, prep throughout the week and things like that. So these are awesome. She got these ones at Walmart. I know that they have them for a super good deal there, but I definitely plan to go and get some more of these because these are great. They have two compartments in them and they just oh they're wonderful and it was so kind and considerate of her to get these for me even though they weren't on my list then from my mama i got this home sweet home little sign it is very cute definitely my aesthetic i love it in my stocking i got some crest 3d radiant 3d white radiant mint toothpaste this is usually the toothpaste i use i also got some floss because it was on my list because I always need it. And then I also got this DVD in my stocking and it's called Stick Man. And if you watched the vlog of me unboxing or opening up my stocking, you'll hear the story about this. But basically a long time ago, I went camping with my family and I found this stick and it was in the shape of a man and I drew a little face on it and I had it for years and years and years and years and I named it Stick Man. And apparently there is a movie called Stick Man and I did sit down on Christmas day and watch this movie with my mom and it's actually quite cute. It's kind of heartwarming. Um, I liked it. It is a cute little cheeky movie. So I had to rep uh, Stick Man, I guess. <laughs> Because my mom remembered the story and she knew how like obsessed I was with Stick Man for so many years. Okay, and then another thing my mom usually gets me every single year. You guys have probably seen these in every single What I Got for Christmas video. Curious by Britney Spears is one of my all-time favorite scents. So she got me the pack. Look at her looking all sexy on there. Oh my goodness, I love this smell so much. I have like 10 of these and I'm not even ashamed. I love it and it is so good. <laughs> my niece, or one of my nieces, got me a ton of face masks. She got me these three right here that just look like so. And then she had also given me my birthday present because she didn't get to see me on my actual birthday. She brought my birthday present for me and she got me some of the Cream Shop uh, Sanrio collection face masks. So we got some Hello Kitty eye masks, so a little twin star face mask and a Hello Kitty face mask. And then there was also this Cinema Roll Macaron lip balm 
which is so cute. I wanted to get my hands on this collection. She knows I love Sanrio, so she hooked me up with this. So technically this was my birthday present, but uh, I did want to include it in here since I did do a what I got for my birthday haul. I figured I would just throw it in here since technically I did get it on Christmas or Christmas Eve, but still same thing. And for Christmas, she got me, it's a 10 miracle hair mask. I'm gonna have amazing hair. All these people got me such good like hair repair masks and stuff. I'm so excited to try. Uh, also, we got an Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator in Northern Lights. Uh, this is a frosted vanilla hand lotion. And there was also another matching thing in here. Oh, this one right here. This is a bath fizzer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, bath and shower fizzer. So this was like a cute little set. We got some, also from my niece, we got some cute little white socks with these big pink bows on them. I am obsessed with these. I love them. They're so cute. She also got me another hair mask, and this is the Matrix brand. They have some really good stuff. She works at Ulta, so she kind of got the hookup for me a little bit. <laughs> uh, also, makeup remover facial wipes from Ulta. And this is a repairing hair mask as well. I told her, I was like, girl, you must think since I dye my hair all the time that my hair is like just stale and crispy and fried. <laughs> but my hair is actually in pretty decent condition because the hair dye that I use is Arctic Fox. And 90% of their dye is basically like a deep conditioning hair mask. So whenever you put it on, it's just like moisturizing and conditioning and that's half the reason I love them so much that and uh, it smells so good uh, but we also got another hair mask this is the Carol's daughter repairing hair mask after one use 98% less breakage so this is great I'm very excited to try this one out she also got me some Batiste which is amazing because I am almost out of this one awesome this is just a dry shampoo if you guys aren't familiar Oh, I missed a clothing item. My mom got me some pink long johns. I call these long johns, but they're just like thermal underwear, I guess you can call them. Uh, but yeah, we got some little pink, pink long john set. My sister also got me the Aristocats little book. I've seen these at Dollar Tree. They are so cute. I think I actually picked one of these up a year or two ago, but these are great because I know as horrible as it may sound, you can kind of like cut them up and use them in scrapbooks or uh, on phone cases or whatever you want. Since they are only a dollar, I don't feel as guilty doing that because I'll buy a few at a time and then I'll have one that I'll just keep together as is as a collector's item and then the other ones I can kind of cut up and use in scrapbooks for like my Disneyland trips and things like that so definitely an easy DIY uh, very cute love these so precious gotta love my Aristocats one of my favorite movies every year my mom gets everyone in the family a calendar this is also from Dollar Tree you guys know I hook one of these up every single year when they come out this is the Elisa Frank 2020 calendar it is set up almost the exact same as all of the past years but I love these and I'm so excited to have another one Okay, three more presents from my mom. She got me two Jeffree Star items and these were both on my, my wish list. I sent her links to these and told her about them and everything. Uh, I got the Jawbreaker palette and oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. I put it on my eyes today. Not sure if you can really tell, but I did like a gradient pink, purple, and blue number to kind of match my shirt a little bit. This is so beautiful, these shades I am obsessed with. I actually have a little vlog clip of Alan's dad uh, swatching these during my Christmas vlog. So yeah, check that out, it's quite comical. This was fun, he got to dip his fingers into it before I could, so he really liked this purple shade, this bite me purple shade on the bottom. I think that was his favorite, he said. Uh, but yeah, I used uh, the bubblegum, gumdrop, and a mix between brain freeze and cute all over my lid. And then I used the Ryland liquid lipstick from the Shane collection to kind of create that little cut crease moment right there. Uh, but yes, definitely obsessed with this palette. 
so beautiful i can't believe i didn't get this right when it came out i just the the longer time went on the more i had regrets about not getting it and so i put it on my wish list and i didn't expect anyone to get it for me and my mama surprised me so so cute i love it and then she also got me one of the morphe uh jeffree star makeup brush sets i think this is the face brush set it just looks like this very pretty this is the infamous highlighting brush that he always uses so i'm very excited about that one i think that's the reason i wanted this whole set and also for the fact obviously that they're pink brushes and it's jeffree star so had to hook that up very cute i love this case also it's just so soft and pretty and then the last thing that my mama got me was this bag this was also on my wish list this is the Sleeping Beauty Lounge Fly bag from Hot Topic. I put my own little pom-pom keychain on here. It did not come with that, but oh my gosh. I've already filled it, and I have been using this as my daily purse. I love it. It's so pretty. It just has one long shoulder strap, and she is gorgeous. Aurora is my favorite princess. And when I saw this Briar Rose style bag in the blush pink, I just kind of fell in love with it. But I didn't cave ordering it because I knew that Christmas was coming up and I would just put it on my wish list just to, just because, you know, something to add to my wish list. And uh, my mom got it for me and I love it. It's so pretty. So I've been using that every day. And then also the final things are from my fiance. He got me this lash book from Celeste Los Angeles. He asked me what I wanted for Christmas. This was one of the things on my wish list. I am obsessed with this. I've been wanting to try one of their lash books for quite some time. These are all vegan cruelty free lashes and they are so dramatic and gorgeous and I cannot wait to try them. Here are these social media handles so if you want to check them out or follow them or get one of these of your own definitely check that out. I think these lash books are about $50 but you get 16 pairs so that's roughly around like $3 a pair for lashes which is an awesome deal because usually I pay about like six or seven dollars a pair for my eyelashes so and these are wonderful and again they are vegan and cruelty free this particular set is some of the some of the lashes on their website aren't as far as i know but i'm 100 percent sure that this is one of the options that is vegan and cruelty free so yeah i am obsessed with these i can't keep, I, I can't stop saying obsessed with all of these items i'm just so thankful and blessed and i'm so happy to try all of this stuff and use it all and oh yay and then the other thing that my fiance got me, we started a Pandora. He got it for me for my birthday, which was December 7th. And you'll see that in my, what I got for my birthday haul. He got me this Pandora bracelet as well as the Disneyland castle charm. But for Christmas, he added Shelly Mae to it, the Disney bear, Duffy's little girlfriend or whatever. This is Minnie Mouse's bear, Shelly Mae. She's so small. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see her on camera. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There it goes. So now you can see her with my castle on there so precious i love her and then the last thing that i got i actually can't show you guys right now because it is still being shipped to me but my fiance got me a custom blanket that has pictures of us on it i put this on my vlog but i'll also go ahead and insert it right here basically he was really upset that it didn't show up in time so he kind of asked everybody if he should show me a picture of it uh to get the reaction from me or whatever while everyone was there for christmas so that i knew what it was i just wouldn't have it in time uh and everyone said oh yes definitely show her the picture of it show her the picture of it so here's that little clip of me seeing what the picture was and my little reaction to it it's a blanket it's a blanket here <laughs> she's oh yay yay at first she's like oh excited and then she actually started reading like I did I wasn't gonna go on then I read and I was like oh and, and the pictures he posted <laughs> Aww. super cute <laughs> 
it was so sweet it says something like to my future wife and oh my goodness it has like some of my favorite photos from our relationship on there and my heart melted when I saw it because it's just so thoughtful and so sweet and he went out of his way to do that and so cute. I loved it. I love everything that I got for Christmas this year. A lot of this stuff was super useful and things that I've been needing or wanting and I'm just so blessed and thankful to have such a supportive, wonderful, giving family and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday yourselves. I hope that not only did you get things that you were really, really wishing for but ultimately I really wish that you guys got to spend time with your loved ones that is what Christmas is all about is spending time with your family and just appreciating the people in your life and telling them you love them and just time. Time is more meaningful than any of the materialistic goodies in between. Yes, they're so thoughtful and it feels good to receive presents. It feels good to give presents. But at the end of the day, just spending time with your family and seeing them happy and healthy is really what counts the most. So please don't ever forget that. I hope you guys have a very, very, very happy new year. Uh, let me know what you guys got for Christmas in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite present was that you got this year. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go. Again, if this is my first video you are seeing and you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe down below. Click the little subscribe button and welcome to my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content and with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video whenever that may be. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!